My colleagues in the University of Iceland have released latest satellite images by the Sentinel-2 satellite of the ESA, European Space Agency, which shows the number of the active vents in the latest Sunuka crater is now reduced to two. And this is what we can see. Uh, K1 and Biggie are the only active one at the moment. It's shown in this uh, naming that I have, uh, nomenclature that I've used here. As you can see in my nomenclature, K1 and B are the only ones which are active. The rest of them are not active. These are the vents in the southern fissure of this uh, latest uh, Sundunka crater chain. Um, of course, the crater K1 will continue to erupt. As you can see here, it is yet active. We can see that it is building walls and destroying it. It has even the lava flow now toward the north. It will not be as big as the uh, crater uh, in the Fregadesville, which was really big. Uh, it lasted, of course, six months, or something like the uh, little hotel, which lasted around one month. Uh, this uh, went uh, K1 is just a few weeks old at the moment. Uh, if it ever lasts any longer than this, it will be something similar to the Little Hotel. It may have some collapses, like what you see here. Little Hotel had these collapses. Uh, but based on the height that we have now available, Isaac von Bagoson, which actually get very close to the uh, ground zero on the backside here, uh, on the um, K1, and rose to the level of the rim of the crater, 27 meters. But this is public GPS data available, which has an error of minus plus 10 meters. 27 meters was her, his measurement. Uh, my estimate was that in the front side, it was 50 meters, which if we accept that this is 37 by the plus 10 meter, we are not far from the actual height of this. It's something between 37 to 50 meters. And if it continues to erupt, it may actually grow a little bit bigger. At the moment, only two vents are active. This is the biggie to the right and the K1 to the left, as you can see here. Um, and I think that the uh, biggie will probably cease to erupt and the K1 will be erupting for a while. Based on what we see from the craters in the Sununka uh, chain of craters from the previous eruptions, uh, we may say that this will not grow any bigger than that if it is a pattern that they will follow.